Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have my wax empties for the month of January. There are a ton in here. Ignore that little green thing over there. That's actually like a weird pouch of catnip. It's like a catnip toy, and my cats go crazy for it. Um, I'm sitting on my floor because this is where I'm going to get the best lighting right now. Um, anyway, I have a ton of wax empties. You know how I write the S and the A, the scent, uh, I'm sorry, the strength based on 1 through 5, 5 being the best, 1 being the worst, actually 0 being the worst, and then um, the A is for the appeal of how much I like it, for my personal opinion, my personal scent preferences. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to like tell you them for everything, especially if you can like read them pretty clearly, like on this one. I'll just tell you, um, I don't know, there's just so much in here that I, I don't want this video to be... 20 minutes long, so I just, I can't spend too much time on it. A lot of this stuff I got in D stashes as extras, or I got as, um, wax in ass wax, um, in my ass wax haul. If you haven't seen that one, watch that one, and it'll explain more about why it's called ass wax and whatever. But, um, a lot of these were very short-lived. They were old, or they didn't last long, or I didn't like them, that type of thing. So, uh, disclaimer, if I don't like something, I did not purchase all of these, like pick out the scent and purchase them. They were received as free things in D stashes and whatnot. And so I just tried to get through a lot of them. All right. So that being said, I'm just going to pull stuff out and let you know my, my quick opinions on them. So this is from Frankie and Scents. Sorry. Frankie's Scents. That's hard to say for some reason. In Juicy Cherry. I'm not a big cherry fan, so I didn't really like this, and it obviously was not strong at all. So, not a fan. And another one from Frankie's Sense. This is Mac Apple. Um, this one actually, like, held its own. It was, like, a paw print shape, but this one was, like, so ooey-gooey. Um, and, I mean, the strength was okay. It was just a typical Mac Apple scent. It was in my bathroom along with that Juicy Cherry one. That one I also melted in my bathroom. Um, and I don't know, it's just, I'm not huge on Mac Apple alone, I need it with something else for it to be a scent I really enjoy, and, um, I don't know, it was room filling for those of you that like plain Mac Apple scents. I have no idea when those were, um, poured, so they did okay for that time being. This is like Southern, oh, uh, someone told me what this was, and of course I don't remember, you know who you are <laughs> if you're watching this video. Southern something, Southern something gems and uh, trinkets. I don't know. Gems and wax. This was in um, Strawberry Blonde. I honestly don't even remember what this looked like. Um, this <laughs> Apparently this strength was really light and I didn't really care for it. Oh, I do feel like I remember this. Yeah, I didn't like this. It was It was okay, but I didn't really like it. Sensible Magic, I believe that this is made by a friend, Kim, and not Canada Kim, um, a different Kim, Kim Hellman. I believe that this is like her little wax company that she has. I shouldn't say little because I don't know too much about it, but it was orange caramel cake. It smelled pretty good. Um, I have this in my centerpiece, which is like, it's a testament to how good some things are if they do well in my centerpiece because... Um, I love melting things in my centerpiece. It's my main warmer in my room. Um, I like going to bed with something, like in the evening in my centerpiece, but sometimes they do well and sometimes they do not do well. Well, I put her stuff in one of them in a center in my centerpiece in the beginning and it did really well. So then I wanted to put the rest of them in there so that I could enjoy a good scent with a good strength in my centerpiece <clears throat> since they're like few and far between. Anyway, this is orange caramel cake. It smelled, um, how would I describe it? I said I wasn't going to take too long describing it. It wasn't like specifically orange, caramel, and cake. I kind of got both orange and caramel, but not too much of a cake note. Um, it was like light to medium, but I did like it. Okay, this is, to, oh, shoot, usually in my videos I go through the clams first. I can't do that. There's too many this month. I'm sorry for anyone who likes that. Um, this is Tuscany Candle. It was uh, Wine and Roses. I got it at my Menards. I thought I like came across something <laughs> spectacular. I have another one of these and I'm probably going to get rid of it. Um, it was a light scent for my bathroom and I like the scent of it. It reminds me of something completely different when it melts. It's like some 
fruity candy or something from my childhood. Oh, I just thought of it. Like, it's like it comes and goes. It's definitely from my childhood. I don't know if it's like a medicine I liked to take, <laughs> which sounds terrible. Um, it's more like a fruity scent. It does. It's not really like wine, and it's only a little tiny bit of rose, like barely any rose. Anyway, I'm spending too much time on it. I this is not like a huge recommendation. It's a, it, unless you like a light scent, um, but that's that. Drizzle melt. I, there was only one cube of this. I got it in a um, ass wax bag, and it had like zero throw. It smelled like nothing. So I mean, the scent on cold it was like decent, but it smelled like nothing when I melted it. Butali. This was in Cheap Thrills. This actually smelled pretty nice. Um, I put it in my centerpiece. What did I write in here? Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, zero, it had a zero strength in my centerpiece. It wouldn't melt. Okay, yeah, okay. I have to, like, take myself back here. My centerpiece has a hard time with certain waxes. It will not melt them. It's annoying. So then I poured it into a little um, empty... Bath and Body Works candle, like four ounce candle jar that I put wax in and then put on my um, 18 watt hot plate. And uh, you can see the smiley face. It did a lot better. So it was a strength of a three and an appeal of a three. I liked it. It was, it was nice. It worked so much better on a hot plate. Okay. Mythical Scents, Pink Sugar. This is pretty light. Not my favorite pink sugar. I would not recommend it. It was, I shouldn't say it pretty light. I could like barely smell it. I could smell it on cold, but not when it, I was melting it. But not my favorite pink sugar. I wouldn't recommend it. Sensible Magic Creamy Pistachio. This, woo -hoo -hoo, this was strong. Um, I should change that uh, strength of a four to a five. I'm not a huge pistachio fan because it smells like cherry to me, and I'm not huge on cherry. But like, if you're a pistachio fan, you would really like this. Um, so I wrote a peel of a three, and then I wrote a four to a five for pistachio lovers. But yeah, this was like a four to a five. I had to actually turn this off in my centerpiece. Because when it, the first time I melted it, because it was so intensely strong. So, holy cow, Kim, that was really, <laughs> really strong. It could, like, scent a whole house. Okay, what was this? This is a mystery melt. It smelled like pistachio to me. Not much to say about it, because we don't know what brand it was. But I did melt that mystery wax, if you saw that, that haul video. And there's a Scentsy Peppermint Rush. This is, like, a strange type of peppermint. Um... I like it because it's nostalgic to me. It reminds me of like peppermint scented things, which I don't know if that even makes sense to you, but when you smell something that's like peppermint scented, that's what it reminds me of. Not actual like in your face peppermint. Sorry, I have it like out of frame. It's, it's a weird peppermint. It's definitely not a peppermint rush. It's soft and subtle. And there's something else to it besides just peppermint. It's not like Sassy Girl Peppermint. It's not like Rose Girls or even um, Vintage Chic. It's not like, I don't know. It's a different type of peppermint. Um, back here is the Strength and Thrill if you're interested. I liked it. It's unique um, as far as peppermint scents go, but I'm not going to repurchase it because I just don't think I'm going to buy any more Scentsy. So, there's that. Okay, we've got a Kringle... Um, Wax Melt in Autumn Rain. Where did I write it? Strength of 3 to 4. Appeal of a 3 to a 4. And I underlined 4 because it was on this air. If you had air, it would be on the side of uh, better. This is like a grassy rain scent. Um, it definitely doesn't remind me of autumn. It reminds me of spring. This should be like spring rain. Mislabeled in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Okay, then we've got Sensible Magic. There's her actual, like, cute little label, minus the, like, water spill on there. This was an elf sweat. I like this. This was a nice scent, um, and it was pretty strong. This also went, um, some of it, there were, were several pieces. Some of it went in my centerpiece. Some of it went on my 18-watt hot plate. Both did really well. <clears throat> I don't know how to explain that. It's kind of like a fruity candy scent, but, like, Jeez, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, the Sweetest Thing by Bathing Garden. This is like a fruity floral type scent. Um, the strength was about, yeah, four. Yeah, I remember. This was in my bathroom. 
and um, it had a really strong throw. Like, that's what was most impressive about it. It was like a subtle scent itself, but like the throw was incredible. And that's what I noticed from Bathing Garden scents. They're not like an intense scent. Well, sometimes they can be, but they have a really good like distance throw. Filled up my whole downstairs. And then we've got Circus Cake also by Bathing Garden. This one was a little bit on the lighter side. Um, it's perfumey. It's doesn't, it's, it, it doesn't smell like what I would imagine it to smell like, so this is not a recommendation. Um, I don't really care for the sweetest thing either. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I was pointing down at it. <clears throat> because I don't, I'm not huge on like florals, but it was strong. So if you are and you want a strong one, I would recommend it. But Circus Cake, I don't know. It was, it was light and it didn't last long and it just, yeah, it smelled perfumey. It was weird. So that is that. Okay, Drizzle Melts in Pink Sugar Pear. Um, <clears throat> I had to use two cubes of this because, <coughs> excuse me, I tried it once with one cube and it was really light, couldn't really smell it. Tried it again with one cube like months later and I remembered, oh crap, I have to use more than one cube. So then I used two cubes here and then another two cubes here. Not that you like care my process, thought process, but if you end up buying this, I had to use two in my like 20 watt glade and um and it was it was nice it's not something i would repurchase though i'm just i don't know there's too many better ones that i find from vendors all right we have to go a lot faster because i already see it's 11 minutes in okay so i got kringle autumn winds this was like a spicy scent um yeah it's like dry leaves and um, autumn spices, kind of like uh, fall like classic um, walking into Michael's type scents, but like the like the woodsy autumn art section. If you went to like where you would like de the decorating, I don't know. I, you do you know what I mean? And this the scent was nice. The strength was good. Okay, then I've got a couple of these. These are from. Sweet Smells and Trinkets. This is from one of their advent calendars, different days. Um, Christmas tree. Smelled like a Christmas tree. I don't even think I put the strength on there. And this one was Buttercream Mint. Nice scent, but like really light. Didn't last long. This I like dumped in my warmer, and then as it like just started melting, I was like, nope, nope, nope. Got to take you out and dump you out. It wasn't terrible. It just like smelled old and I don't know. This was in a caramel apple scent. I could get a caramel apple scent from it, but there was something off about it, and I just decided I'm not going to waste my day melting something that I didn't really like. <clears throat> and then I got these sweet treats, wax melts in Baywatch. I thought these smelled really good on cold, but they had no scent throw when I melted them. There were a bunch in here that I got in a de stash, and I melted them right away because they, the bag came ripped like that. Or they were like in that ass wax, I think, or like a freebie or something like that. Okay, Lois Lights Candles, Creamy Coconut, classic Creamy Coconut scent. Um, but it was really, really, really light. I liked the scent. It was just super light. Colossal Pumpkin Lanterns from uh, Bathing Garden. I went in my centerpiece and actually did pretty well. I've had some good and some bad success. Er, that doesn't even make sense. I was going to say good and bad success. Good and bad experiences with uh, Bathing Garden, but overall pretty good. Um, this smelled like a chocolate scent. It smelled like a Tootsie Roll. I didn't. I don't know where Colossal Pumpkin Lanterns comes from, but it smelled like a Tootsie Roll to me. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of that one. Gingerbread House was just too spicy. It was strong, but um, it's just an okay scent to me. It's not like my favorite or least favorite gingerbread scent. I like gingerbread, but I don't like really spicy ones. <clears throat> okay, Caramel Lavender Sugar Milk Tea. Um, this was a surprisingly good one. I even wrote that on there. Um, I liked it. It was a weird blend to put together, but I actually liked it. This went in my centerpiece, and it did pretty well. It was pretty strong. Cider House Stone is from Sensationals. Um, I like this one. I bought a ton of it. It's just on the lighter side. I probably shouldn't have bought a ton. I would sell some if I could, if I thought anyone was interested in them. Christmas Morning Latte, I did not like this. It was really, really light, and it was weird. I don't know. It was weird. This, I didn't even melt all of it. It's just too old. Um, <clears throat> it had, like, I, it didn't smell good. You like my face right there? 
Um, <laughs> I wrote old on it. It was super light. I couldn't even like melt the whole cube before I was like, no, I'm done with this. So I'm, I don't know if I've ever thrown away wax besides that. Okay, we've got big bag of Hello Gorgeous from Rose Girls. I love this. I would love to get more of this. Love, love, love. Strong. Love it. There's not much more to say. If you can get your hands on Hello Gorgeous, I really like it. Okay. It's like a, um, how do I explain this scent? It's like peppermint and it's like strawberry and peppermint, maybe? Strawberry Cabernet from Country Lane Keepsakes. I used up this whole bag. Um, not my favorite. I don't, uh, it's just kind of plain and it doesn't smell like Cabernet to me. Um, and it wasn't the strongest, so I'm just glad that I used it up. I won't be repurchasing from Country Lane Keepsakes, just because there are other vendors I like better. But, um, I do have some scents that I do enjoy that I'm going through from them right now. I'm trying to use up all my Country Lane Keepsakes stuff, just because I hate storing these bags. I, I've discovered that I don't like these, like, tie bags for the way that I'm storing my wax with, like, drawers. And, like, when I open and close, it doesn't do well. So, that's that. Um, <clears throat> Central Park Snow Globe. Uh, I had this in my centerpiece and it did terribly. This is from Vintage Chic Scents. I bought it in a D stash and I, I, I don't know if it just didn't cure very long or it was the combination of that mixed with my centerpiece, but it was just, I love the scent, but it was not strong at all. Very disappointing. Um, this was Sweet 16 by Sweet Treats. Um, it just, the dye separated from the wax and it looked disgusting. It was in my centerpiece and... Very light. I liked the scent, but it was just, it was so weird. Not, not something I would recommend. I, I, would, I don't recommend sweet treats. Okay, we've got Jackie O from Vintage Chic. I didn't write anything on it. This was just super light. Um, I don't think it cured long enough, and that's all I have to say about that, because I really like the scent Jackie O. And then same with this, Margot's Pearls. Um, the strength is only a one to a two. This was so disappointing. And I put this in my centerpiece at first and it didn't do well. And then I put it in my hot plate. Let me see what I wrote on here. Can't really smell it. Yeah. I like it, but I couldn't really smell it even on my hot plate. So I don't know. I mean, this was the poor date. It should smell and it didn't. So that was really, really disappointing. Perfect pumpkin ale. This is kind of like, uh, it smells like pumpkin it smells like ginger ale, pumpkin ginger ale. It doesn't smell like beer to me. I mean, I guess you could say that, but it really just, I think a better name would have been like pumpkin ginger ale, and that sounds weird, but I think it would have been more accurate description. Not a fan of it. It was a decent scent, scent strength, but not a repurchase. Crunchy Leaves, I like this scent from Goose Creek. I probably won't repurchase it, though, just because there are other since I like better, but it is strong. I like Goose Creek wax melts. They are, they're very, very soft wax, but they are good throwers and they the scents are really, really nice. So there's my little ratings for that. I've got it from Super Tarts. This is actually pretty light. Um, I thought it was going to be super strong because I thought Super Tarts were super strong. I really like the scent, but yeah, it was just kind of average as far as the strength goes. Oh my gosh. Um, Yoshi the Red Nose Dino. It was really old. It didn't have a smell. Not too much to say about that. I don't know. Too old to throw? Question mark. Strawberry Vanilla Rose Buttercream Birthday Cake from Front Porch. Um, I, this was in my centerpiece. It, it was mostly rose. I mean, it's, it's like a rose vanilla scent, pretty much. But primarily rose. And it did okay in my centerpiece. I don't think I would want it to be any stronger than a three, which it was, because it was just an intense rose scent. Baked with Love by Sensationals. This has pumpkin sugar cookies and pumpkin or cinnamon pumpkin. They both smell very similar to me. Um, so I just kind of rated them all together. It's just like a spicy scent. Not my favorite. Not something I would repurchase. It was um, decent but and, and strong but it's just too spicy for me. I'm just not I'm not into it. Bathing Garden Rosemary Mint. I like Rosemary Mint. Yum, yum, yum. This was in my centerpiece, and it did pretty well. Like, you can see, it's three or four in my centerpiece. Is I'm pretty happy with. And um, I gave it a four as far as the appeal goes. I like it. I like Rosemary Mint. I love it in, like, shampoo and stuff. This is how much we have left. So we are hopefully nearing the end. Let me grab a couple cups here. Rip Your Float by Candles by Victoria. Um... I like this, surprisingly. Um, it's not a scent that you'd want all the time. Ooh, I got like 
stuff under my fingernail. <clears throat> Probably like wax. Um, not something I'm going to repurchase. It's a strange scent. I, I liked it, but it's just not something I want to melt all the time. Then I got Flowers in Your Hair from Vintage Chic. And this is not my favorite. Oh, there it goes. This is a laundry scent, so it's not my favorite. And, um... It didn't have a far throw. Like, it was strong in the bathroom where I melted it, but it didn't go very far, so there's that. And then, apple cider donut. This was disappointing. Um, it smelled good, really good on cold. It just was not strong. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there you go. One to two, and so for that, I mean, the appeal is only a two. It smelled a little different when I melted it, too. It did not smell as good as the Sensationals um, Cider House Donuts. Then we've got Cranberry Cookie Crumble. Everyone went crazy for this. I don't know why. I think I have one, maybe two more. Um, it's it's decent in one room, um, but it's not my favorite. I mean, I don't know what this is. S and S. I don't... Beats me. This is the appeal to me. I like it. This is the strength. It was only a one to a two. Pretty disappointing. I don't know why everyone went crazy for that. Maybe I'm cold and then they didn't even melt it. Oh, Vintage Chic Scents. It's a Wonderful Pumpkin Life. Uh, couldn't smell it. And because of that, I only gave it a two. Disappointing. And that one was more than cured. Alright, last few things, guys. Pink Velvet. Smells good. We all know. We've talked about it. It's a good scent. I don't even know why I put that on there. It's strong. And it smells pretty good. I have... I'm kind of, like, tiring myself out from this scent, so I have to, like, pick and choose when I melt it. Satsuma Wild Raspberry Bergamot. Um, I don't know what brand this is from, what vendor this is from, so I couldn't tell you much more of that, but there are my ratings for that scent. And then I've got Pod People from Vintage Chic Scents. This is uh, Cactus and Sea Salt, and this was really strong. So um, it was, what did I write? Strong, oh my gosh, Strong Fresh Laundry Soap. Yeah. It's good for what it is. It smells like a laundry scent. Um, they're just okay for me. But yeah, it was strong, so I was impressed with that one. But it was from had a long time to cure because it was from 2015. Then Warren's Creepy Museum. This went in my centerpiece. It was just a one to a two as far as strength goes. And it kind of smelled like caramel apple, but I don't even know what the um, scent description is. So that was the Warren's Creepy Museum. It's a nice scent. Just not not strong, that's for sure. Then I've got Vintage Chic Aunt, Aunt B slash Aunt Nellie's Zucchini Supreme slash Jackson. This must have been like one of those um, combos where they do three cents all in one. I put it in my centerpiece. Yeah, one to a two as far as strength goes. It's a two to a three. It's a like classic bakery scent, like a mixture of a bunch of bakery scents. Like Zucchini Bakery, that's pretty much it. Um, but it was really light, so that was also a disappointment. I've got Wicked Sweet from Bathing Garden. Not a huge fan. What did I write about it? Oh, I put it on my warming plate. It had no no strength. Yeah. I remember I didn't like that one. And then Vintage Chic Five Families. This is like a vanilla bakery. I do like this scent. It's like growing on me. I put a three at this time, but it's growing on me. I like it more. What did I write? Oh, it's a great mixer, which is very true. Put it in my centerpiece. And it did, like, light to medium. So, I mean, I'm interested in getting more of this and trying it out in a different warmer. That's everything, you guys. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you so much if you made it through to the end. Comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.